Limousine by Brand New. It is about a flower girl at a wedding who was killed by a drunk driver I like. It has been a while since I heard it because it legit makes me too sad. The lyrics are incredibly dense and metaphorical and the music mirrors the falling and rising emotion of the story. Such a strange, beautiful, and heartbreaking song. The important part is that it is based on a true story. The line where I always well up. Asterisk I apostrophe ve one more night to be your mother. Into Dust by Mazzy Star gets me. Fade Into You by Mazzy Star has always gotten me. Bonnie Raitt I can't make you love me. The Bon Iver cover of this on Yauta will make you cry. 4th of July, Sufjan Stevens. Kasimi Pulaski Day, Sufjan Stevens, is up there too. Edit, https, slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch, v equals 90s w 5 kopui My 10 year old sang Remember Me from Coco at my father's funeral. The end of that movie was already an onion cutter, but now sugar skulls make me ugly cry. OMG this one is a contender for saddest song of all time, just because of how that movie hits. I haven't been able to rewatch it. George Jones, he stopped loving her today, https, slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch, v equals vexw77xjsbq. This was my grandfather's favorite song, and we had it playing when they turned off his life support 11 months after my grandma died. It'll always be my favorite sad song. You are my sunshine. Everything but the chorus is heartbreaking. Few people know anything but the chorus though. There was a scene in The L Word where a character was talked into leaving her dying love's hospital room to get some air. She visited the gift shop and bought a silly dancing sunflower that sang that song. When she gets back the staff is shutting off all of the alarms in her room. She collapses in the hall and the sunflower is set off. Screen fades to black with that damned song playing and her crying. Not going to lie, that broke me. It's not a sad song as far as lyrics go, but I used to sing Here Comes the Sun to my daughter from the time she was born, even into her teenage years, it was our song, but she committed suicide at 17, and I can't even think about it, or hear the first two chords without losing it. My daughter also took her own life and there are, so many songs I just can't listen to because they remind me of when she was happy, also can't listen to Forever Young without losing it. I know your pain and time healing all wounds is a lie. Some wounds will never fully heal and you never know when something is going to open the wound again. Sylvia, The Antlers. Actually that whole album, Hospice, breaks me but this song in particular just leaves me in a mess every time. Bear just kills me every time. But yeah, the whole album is just so very. How to Disappear Completely by Radiohead. Haunting instrumental, depression ripping through every line of lyrics and not here, this isn't happening. I'll listen to this song 221 times in 2020 good year for ya yeah boy. Elephant by Jason Iceball. Came here to say, if we were vampires by Iceball. Glad to see he is the top rated comment. Elephant will hit you hard, but vampires will have you on the floor sobbing. Strange Fruit by Billy Holiday. Edit, thanks to all the people recommending Nina Simone's version, as well as others, all chill inducing and I love the conversations and knowledge in this thread. Thanks for the awards too. Also, her gloomy sundaY asterisk has quite the reputation. Sam Stone by John Prine. There's a hole in daddy's arm where all the money goes. Alternatively, hello in there from the same album. Prine had a way with lyrics that just left everyone else in the dust. His passing hit hard. The Night We Met by Lord Huron. No matter where I am, if I'm happy, who I'm with, etc. I'll bull my eyes out if that song plays. It's so painful and true, because one day they're there, and they're your everything, and then they start slipping until they're gone, and you wished you could go back to before you met them, so you wouldn't have to go through the pain of losing them. Just the lyrics I had all, and then most of you, some and now none of you hit this. People falling out of love in relationships, growing apart with friends, family members passing, etc. is what this hits for me and it hits hard. I had all, and then most of you, some and now none of you, 
That line is wonderfully poetic. One of either. Me and a gun. Tori Amos. A cappella with Amos singing about being raped at gunpoint, based on something that actually happened to her. Margaret vs. Pauline. Nico Case. Story of two women, one who has all the luck and the other who doesn't. One left her sweater lying on the train, the other lost two fingers at the cannery, but what about? They shot the tiger on his chain, in a field behind the cages, he walked in circles till he was crazy, and he lived that way forever. Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. I'm about to turn the age Jim was when he died in just a matter of months. Just thinking of how much we missed out on because he died so soon, and thinking of how much of the best part of my life I'd miss out on if I were to pass fucks me up. Brothers in Arms gets me every time. Sad lyrics and some of Knopfler's best guitar work. Absolutely perfect song. Real Death, Mount Airy. Only album I consider perfect, and also the only album I love, that I have zero desire to listen to ever again. Jork and Thumb York, I've seen it all. From the film Dancer in the Dark. Woman is going blind and York is entice her with all the things she hasn't seen yet. But she just dismisses each of them and says it's okay because she's seen it all. Edit for those not familiar with it, Jork did both the soundtrack and acted in this film. It was famously traumatizing for her and she has not spoken to the director since. This song was nominated for Best Original Song at the 2001 Oscars and Jork arrived in a dress made to look like a swan that was created by a friend of hers amidst all the high-end Hollywood fashion. While she was made fun of for that, I like to think that it has aged well and is now seen as a beautiful dress. I swear it took me a week to recover from watching that film. Great song too. Barbers Adagio 4 Strings, HTTPS. Slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch V equals IZQSGE0L450 Doesn't even need lyrics to be the saddest piece of music I ever heard. R.I.P. Sergeant Elias, Platoon. I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton. You can really tell she fucking lived that song. Surprisingly it was written about her platonic friendship with Porter Wagoner. He was her mentor and helped start her career by putting her on his show, and the song was written when she decided to leave it. Nutshell by Alice in Chains. Wake Up by Mad Season is also really sad. Exit music for a film by Radiohead. No surprises too, possibly. Youth by Daughter. Medicine and Candles are up there for me. Father and Son Cat Stevens. Goodbye, Mary Poppins. I know it's over https slash slash m point yata point com slash watch v equals m601 set 0 2 t 0 by the Smiths. Sad veiled bride, please be happy handsome groom, give her room loud, loutish lover, treat her kindly, though she needs you more than she loves you. Just take me now, my god this part kills me. Samson, Regina Spectre. This one is heartbreaking. Blue lips and laughing at God always make me cry too. T 